I was finally able to install the Android 12 One UI 4.0 update on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to gain root access to this device with the current version of Majisk. Before we can even begin though, we need to have some things set up ahead of time. For example, we need to have the bootloader of this phone unlocked before we can proceed. So if you haven't done that yet, be sure to look in the video description below as I'll be including a link to a separate video where I go through the bootloader unlock process. Now we also need to download the Galaxy Note 10 Plus firmware that you currently have installed on your phone. I used a program called Freya to download this copy, but you can use many other sources for firmware downloads. Again, be sure to check in the video description as I'll be including a link to another guide that I did specifically for downloading Samsung Galaxy firmware. Lastly, we need to sideload the current version of Majisk as of this video, we are at version 24.1 of Majisk, but there, if there is a newer one, then you will likely want to use that one instead. I just want everyone to know that I'll be using version 24.1 in this guide. So for anyone who wants to make sure that everything is exactly the same, you can download this specific version. Once this is downloaded, we can install it. And put it on our homepage. With, With that done, we're going to need to then extract the contents of the firmware we downloaded earlier. With that done, we need to make sure we have the AP file on this phone. So for me, I downloaded this firmware on my desktop, which means I then needed to extract that firmware and copy the AP file to my phone. However, you could have downloaded the firmware on your phone, extracted it on your phone, so that you can have that AP firmware file right here. Either way, again, we just need to make sure that AP file is on the internal storage of our Galaxy Note 10 Plus here. So that we can then open up the Majisk app. And we're going to tap on the install button. And because we do not have a RAM disk on our Galaxy Note 10, we need to make sure that the recovery mode option stays checked. And we're just going to tap the next option to bring us to the method, which lets us select and patch a file. So from here, we're gonna go into the downloads folder, locate that AP file, and then load it up into Majisk before tapping the let's go button. Now you're gonna see some text scrolling here. This is basically telling you exactly what Majisk is doing. It has taken that AP file it extracted two files from it, the boot image and the recovery. It's copied some parts, it's written and patched some files, and then it has packed those images back up. Now we're going to be told that there is an output file here. It's going to be labeled Majisk underscore patched, the version that we're running, and then some random letters, numbers. You just need to make sure that we look at where this file is. Since this is in the download folder, we're going to be taking this Majisk patched file and copying it to our PC. And I'm just going to put it in the same folder as the rest of our firmware files. We're then going to need to power off the Galaxy Note 10 so that we can boot the device into download mode. I'll be using the USB cable method. But again, if you're not familiar with how to boot your device into download mode, check the video description as I'll be linking to another dedicated tutorial that I did specifically showing you how to boot 
into download mode. Now, if you haven't downloaded and extracted the Odin program yet, I'll be linking to that in the video description as well. We have our Galaxy Note 10 connected to our PC, which is also in download mode again. And because of that, we should see this COM button right here, and we should be told that the device has been added. Now here is the firmware that we downloaded. This is the AP file that we patched to get this patched file. And we're just going to start loading these files into Odin. So we're going to click the BL button right here. And we're going to load the file that begins with the letters BL. We're going to click the CP button and then load the CP firmware file. We're going to do the same with the CSC. And we need to load the CSC file, not the home CSC file, because we're going to be doing a factory data reset on this device. And lastly, we're going to click a we're going to click the AP button right here. But instead of loading the AP file, instead we're going to load this patched file. Now, as a side note, we're going to need to tap the Options tab right here and then uncheck the auto reboot button before we can begin. Now with all four of these files loaded, again, we're just gonna to check to make sure that Odin detects our device and we're gonna click the start button to begin the process. And you see there's gonna be a lot of files that need to be copied and flashed onto our Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So we're just going to be patient. We're not going to touch the phone. We're not going to touch the USB cable either. We need to make sure that we maintain a solid USB connection. And there is a progress bar on the phone itself, as well as a progress bar here. We're basically going to watch this to make sure it fills up all the way so that we then get a green pass message right here. Now, if you remember, we disabled the auto reboot option. So once we get this green pass message here, our device is not going to reboot because we need to manually reboot to instantly reboot back into recovery mode. With Odin finished, we can go ahead and unplug that USB cable. And now we're going to follow this. We're gonna press the volume down and the side key so that we can force the device to exit download mode but as soon as the device reboots, we need to let go of those two buttons and then hold the side key and the volume up button. So we're gonna press these two buttons to force the device to reboot. Now we're gonna let go and hold the side key and volume up button. As soon as we see that, we can then let go And our Galaxy Note 10 Plus will continue to boot.
Now on this first boot back into Android, you may or may not see the Majisk application icon. If you do, we can go ahead and open up that app. If you do not, then we're going to need to visit the GitHub page again so that we can manually sideload the Majisk application. Either way, once the application is here in the app drawer, we can go ahead and open it up. And you're going to be told that an, to upgrade to full Majisk to finish the setup, and we're going to tap on OK. We're going to give Majisk permission. And we're going to let it update the app for us. Now we can go ahead and open up the Majisk application. And again, requires additional setup. We're just going to tap on OK. And after a few seconds, our device will reboot. going to go through the normal boot process. And it's going to boot us right back into the Android operating system. With us booted back in, we can then go ahead and check on Majisk. And you see we have a version next to the installed box. This means Majisk is currently installed, and we can test that with a root checker app if we want. And once installed, we can just open it up. And let the app check for root. So that is how we can gain root access to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and all of the other devices in the Galaxy Note 10 series, even after you have updated to Android 12, and the One UI 4.0 firmware.